Okay, so when we built our van, we really prioritized our kitchen space. Um, we spent a lot of our budget on a nice fridge and the components that went into our kitchen. And a lot of the space in our van is dedicated to this large countertop that makes it really nice for us to cook on. Um, and it's been a huge plus, both me and Calum. Um, I'm recently graduated and Calum is still in school. We came from college apartments where we had to share fridges. And I think our van, has more room for our food between our cabinets and our fridge than like I've ever had before. And so it's not really been hard that way for us to like learn how to cook in the van. The one thing that has been hard is not having an oven. I love to bake. And we've kind of made up for that by stopping at friends and family's houses. And while we're there, I will use their oven and kind of share whatever we bake and then um, take some to go on the road. And that has been really nice. But overall, I have loved our van kitchen. It's made travel very affordable. And our whole month on the road, we've maybe eaten out once or twice. I know a lot of people end up eating out a lot um, while they're road tripping, whether it be in a car or even in a van. And our kitchen has been awesome. Um, I wouldn't change a thing about it. And I'm excited to share cooking with you. And here we go. Yeah, so without further ado, let's cook. Okay, so we just chopped up all the vegetables that will be going in as soon as the meat is browned. Um, and then we just turned on the instant pot, added the goat, and now it is sauteing just to cook it through before we add in anything else. So we're well on our way and it's smelling really good. Okay, so we just finished adding everything into the Instant Pot and now it is ready to go. Um, I'm going to turn it off saute and put it on to pressure cook on high for 45 minutes and then we'll be done because I previously this afternoon made some rice and I'm keeping it warm in this bowl right here. Um, I don't know how warm it is now but it is pretty fresh. And so um, we'll cook this and we'll see you when it's done. All right, here's the taste test with Greta, the sous chef. I'm yeah. the sous chef? No, no, I'm the sous chef. You're what? totally the sous okay, chef. Okay, I'm the sous chef. I helped. <laughs> I'm like 10 out of 10. It's yeah, really good. sweet. Cool. I'm gonna put this camera down so I can finish fine, but thanks for watching.